Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog. Brandy guys with another video commentary here on Guide to an Anime Con video. This time I am joined by what well, I screwed up the name yet again because of my Asian powers. Walk if I, what? <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping this in here so you can all get a good fucking laugh at this. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Just hi, I'm the Warkified Chocobo. Thank you. <laughs> right here. Folks, I'm going to be talking about a very important subject with the Warkified Chocobo, which we all know about, for better or worse. This is some serious, deep shit here. Literally, I'm not even joking about this, folks. Of course, the topic is going to be talking about is Confunk. Yeah, <laughs> like, then you get people like, oh. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is a topic you never want to touch. Now, for those of you who don't know what Confunk is, what if I talk about, please tell, uh, please give us a description. Confunk is the people that do not shower or do not wash their costumes and go out with, like, thick and smelling like 30-year-old garbage. The people that, when, when they try to hug you in the hallways, you just want to die. <laughs> To get away from the smell. Like, you don't, you just stand there and you're like, oh dear god, what do I do? It's gross. Yeah. Think of basically massive BO, but on just a, a larger scale, like Gandhi dropped the bomb, basically. Yeah. But, um, like she, uh, like she said, this is, it's like, it's not just like, not, not as simple as not taking a shower or not, or your cosplay starting to stink. It's everything, including, you know, no deodorant on. No, not brushing your teeth. Yeah, that's a that's a fun one. Or your feet are smelling, and he doesn't like foot powder or anything to combat that because yeah, sticky feet can can seep through the shoes. And then oh, you know, it's, yeah. and, and it's just a variety of things that just like if if you you know someone has confunk because they're basically going to be the elephant in the room. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Like at one of the cons I was at. There was a girl in our room who, like, would not shower, and her feet smelled like, like, oh god, what is it? It's like, like, unbaked bread, and you can just, like, that, that toast, that nasty, toasty, garlicky smell. Um, yeah. she wasn't showering, like, the bed sheet smelled like, <laughs> like her, um, and we kept, like, suggesting, like, at first we were being kind of nice about it, we were like, hey, Hey, the shower's free. Hey, you know you're, you're kind of you're kind of giving that her that nudge like hey, come yeah. On, and then please. then we like outright like it got to the point like she was she was like yeah no no I don't I don't feel like it and we're just like oh my god the whole room is like we had to open the windows and open the door into the hallway like we were spraying our our like the guys in the room were spraying their axe in the room like like it was like air freshener like we were pretty much avoiding our room and then we finally like outright told her and she got pissed and she, and then she refused to take a shower right. and we've never roomed with her since i would uh, i would have kicked her out for that i'd be like you better get take a goddamn shower right now yeah we, we were getting really pissed like yeah. she outright refused and stormed out of the room and we were like yeah let's 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 let's, let's have the front desk change the lock yeah so uh, like overall, it's not a laughing matter. It, it, like sometimes, it can be very light and unnoticeable, but usually nine times out of ten, you're gonna smell it, and it ain't gonna be pretty. But on an interesting fact, the history of it, er, earlier in anime conventions, it wasn't that big of an issue. Yeah, it wasn't. It was like maybe one or two people that didn't do it, yeah. but everybody else did. And I think part of the reason, my personal opinion, is that. Back in the days, like 2005 to 2010, conventions were slower paced. Like, people wore one costume a day. People had more leisure time. There was more time between panels and events. And people, so people had more time to go back to their rooms and shower. They didn't feel rushed. And then after 2010, when the whole community started to become more mainstream and more popular, there were so many, there were so many panels and stuff like, Back in the day, you could wake up at 11 a.m. on Friday and you hadn't missed a thing. Now it's like if you don't wake up at 6 a.m. on Friday, you've missed 
for a panel and the registration line is out the door. So people are trying to rush and do everything so they constantly forget to shower or they, they, they don't think they have enough time to so they just keep avoiding it because there's so much stuff to do. They, they, they're racing to do everything that they can and they're changing costumes all the time which that also makes it get worse because you're in your room sweating and changing yeah. and I just feel that it's it's a it's a rush thing at this point. And that's yeah. why it's gotten a lot worse. Especially if there's multiple people in the room, so there's a wait line to the bathroom. So some people are like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just go, let's just do it live and just roll down there already." And everyone's like, "What the hell?" Like my rule in my room is everyone showers. If there is a hint of con funk, I'll be like, "No, no, 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 no. You, you take a shower, you put deodorant on. I, I, I will actually buy you." If you do not have a deodorant bar or toothbrush or toothpaste, I'll be kind enough to buy it for you. But just, you, you do this, you get this. Yes. But, yeah. Uh, In my room uh, now, we start to do schedules. Because, you know, people are always changing costumes and stuff. And I'm like, so when is everyone available? And that's a shower time. Yeah. Like, nobody else goes in the shower except for that person at that time. Because if someone finally has the time to take a shower and there's someone in there, that, that messes it up so they can't take one. Yeah. So, we have a shower schedule. Yeah, it's like for me personally, I give everyone, I tell everyone, like, hey, when we all wake up, people just use the bathroom first. Everyone use the bathroom, you know, get that out of the way, okay. And then I get set up where, all right, you got 10 to 15 minutes tops to go in, do your thing, and get the, get the hell out of there. That, you know, if you need to dry your hair, do it outside of the bathroom, makeup outside. There are window, there are mirrors in the room somewhere, but just as of right now, in the, in the morning, you go in, you take a shower, you do your thing, you get out, next person comes in. You know, just have it try to be as organized and just like get like get the ball rolling, get the gear just get it through. <laughs> yeah, that's a smart idea. And like the con funk, like some people are thinking it's not that big of a deal, but at the same time it's a really big deal because it spreads like there's a lot of people that go to conventions that are sick. Like yeah. they don't want to miss the con, so they'll show up while they still have the flu or bronchitis or bunch of stuff and if you don't shower it's going to spread to you and spread to other people and it's just going to get everywhere and people are going to end up really 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 sick yeah and it just it, it it can cause a lot of problems like there have been people that have ended up in the hospital or died you know it's dangerous to 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 be that irresponsible and the thing is too, like there is also a thing of laziness in there where I have noticing the like again, you know, this is a growing trend. Now we're seeing like almost the full force of it. That it, it, it most of it could be avoided if they just because like some people are like, oh well, I don't have a hotel room. I'm staying in my car. Okay, yeah, that's one thing. But you can put deodorant or something on. But for those who are staying in a hotel room and don't even take a shower or bother to take a shower, there is no reason for that. Absolutely yeah, so no cute. goddamn reason. Like, there has to be 10 minutes out of your day to take a shower somewhere. Do it. Especially after the rave. Like, if you come back to the room after the rave, please shower. Please. Or, yeah, it's like, you know, just maybe shower. You know, like, when I wear my cosplays. Now, do know, I do mostly military-themed cosplays. So, obviously, all that military gear, I'm going to sweat like a... I'm going to sweat. So, what I usually do is... I always have like a can uh, deo uh, spray deodorant, so I always kind of like spray myself to freshen myself up every time I go out there. But if it gets that bad, I take a foam like a cool down. I throw all I throw all of it in a in a bag and I wrap it, and then I go in, take a shower, come out, you know, fresh, you know, fresh boxers, fresh t-shirt, fresh socks. Put on another pair of put on another pair of BDUs. Put my gear on and head on out of there. Like try to, you know. People, there are ways to minimize this. Yeah, it is a growing problem, and it's just getting worse and worse. It's it's like it's like the movie World War Z. It's just it's just it's like fucking spreading now. Yeah, it is, and nobody wants to actually discuss the topic because they're afraid they're going to offend people. But it's like it is a topic that needs to be talked about. Yeah, it's. I, like, I, we're I, not insulting you. We are trying to get you to understand that this is what should be doing. Yeah. Like just because you just because it's a normal trend for nerds to 
just supposed to be like the ones that don't have proper hygiene doesn't mean that that you should actually you know incorporate that in your lifestyle you don't, can't have hygiene and don't promote the stereotism yeah because i'm one of the biggest geeks you'll ever meet and i you know yeah some days are lazy but when i'm at cons i fucking take personal hygiene to the maximum degree which because there's other people there yeah there's other people like you got to realize you are with other people the other you might be comfortable but they might not be comfortable so obviously you're going to have different sense of opinion people are going to look at you and they're going to like they're they you know some people are going to be you know kind of nice about it try to get you to do your thing take a shower refresh yourself other people might just take the more blunt approach because sometimes a you really need it or b that's how they are they're very blunt it can be embarrassing but it's just remember it, this is it can be totally avoided yeah. If you just do these things, which again, I'm I'm just sad to see that this is a growing trend. So, so you folks might ask, you know, like, okay, to help, you know, okay, to help combat con funk and the con plague, which affects a lot of people out there. What should you do? How do I prepare this? Well, this is what I usually do. I usually get a small bag and put all my personal hygiene and my toiletries in there like I always pack before a convention I never rely on the hotel amenities as far as the you know toothpaste, toothbrush and all that stuff because other people are going to use it I always bring my own body wash and scrubby my own toothbrush toothpaste my own deodorant can uh, maybe a deodorant spray or cologne or something like that I always bring that at every single convention this has it's just it has helped me out so much and also bring spare clothes because okay yeah it's one thing to change your clothes but if you still keep on like your underwear and your socks they didn't, you know it's something's dirty down there and let's not lie here folks if your junk smells because of this shit no one's having fun exactly like i was gonna make that point like when you're packing for a con yeah your mentality is to pack all the costumes but you should take you should stop and take five minutes to think do I have enough socks? Do I have enough underwear to last, you know, the whole time? Do I have pajamas? Do I have my toiletries? Yeah. You know, bring that stuff. Like maybe it might take an extra bag or something or a little bit more space. Yeah, like But you need it. You, you need it. It's important. It's completely fine to bring two bags. I actually talked about this. If you guys have seen my for my, you know, guide to an anime con video, I did make a video talking about here, yeah, the packing checklist, which I give you guys a basic, uh, basic list of necessities that you need to fulfill your convention experience. Definitely check that out if you have any questions, you know. But you, you know, you just got to make sure you prepare for this. Yeah, it's spending a little money, but a little goes a long way. Yeah, especially like and deodorant is the major one, like. Like, that is when you need deodorant and, and cologne or perfume. Yeah. Like, those are, like, the major ones. Because even, because, like, you don't know who you're going to room with. If the people in the room cause it a problem where you are not able to take a shower, the least you're going to need are the cologne and deodorant to at least cover up what con funk you might have because you're people you're rooming yeah. with those are necessities and uh, and do notes uh use it within reason because some people might have a sensitivity to cologne or perfume so please be reasonable with it don't like use the half the damn bottle in one day so yeah at least wipe it off like when you go back to the room if you can't shower at least wipe off your underarms and stuff and then put a new application on don't just keep piling it on that's, yeah that's it, not gonna no it's just it's just kind of like putting a band-aid over a cut it's or over like a, a, something that's infected it's just covering up one thing but not dealing with the issue entirely so folks again it's just it, it just in a way it kind of disgusts me and the age group everyone thinks oh you know, the teenagers do it or the kids do it, which in in many respects, yeah, they are usually the ones. But I've seen people ranging from young adults around my age to actual adults who do this stuff. And I'm like, what the frick yeah. is this? It is not an age issue. It is a human issue. It's not even a, all yeah. ages. All, like, 
This and is not something that should be turned into an age battle. Or, or, or gender battle either, because it's on, you know, everyone's included on this shit. Yeah, it's not a battle. It is a, please, look at yourself and make sure you are doing what you need to do. Don't worry about other people. Because the minute you start worrying about other people, you're going to think, well, if they're not doing it, then why should I have to do it? And that's a very bad mentality you start to have. Yeah, yeah, like... Just focus on you. Think of, I want to be respectful. I want to have proper hygiene and not cause, not add to this problem. That's yeah. all you need to focus on. If people get you like trouble about it, ignore them. Just, focus, just do your thing and be respectful. Like, guys, I know you guys are listening on this. You want to try to, like, okay, you're trying to find a girl, you know, maybe a hookup, maybe a relationship, or you have your girlfriend or boyfriend there with you. I think they would be really appreciative if you don't smell like you just came from a dump. You know, girls and guys, they don't like that when you smell bad, especially your junk. You clean that shit, too. When do you actually... And, and, and please, you know, when you take a shower, don't be like, oh, water will do it, or just like, oh, I'll lightly apply soap and stuff. No, you gotta actually, you know, body wash, great thing with the scrubby, you gotta pour that shit on there and just be like, scrub everywhere you can, not lightly, not like that, oh, I'm just gonna skim over it, that's clean. No, you gotta go in there, get rid of all that shit, you know, wash your junk twice, recommended of course you know wash your hair at least two times because that's almost the recommended amount you gotta go in there you gotta clean because you're not gonna press anyone if you smell like a hobo exactly so you know like you know uh what why yeah i i could not say your first thing I, my asian powers you know like ah so but what would you recommend to the ladies out there to if they are if they are the ones who are causing the conflict or potentially might trap themselves in it what can you recommend for them for one i can understand where it's difficult with certain costumes and stuff but before you go to a con wash your bras change your bras spray them with the spray deodorant and, and, and try to keep them clean and smelling nice because when if your armpits are smelling badly it's going to leak into your bra so just taking a shower and putting the same bra on is not really gonna help so if you want to take a shower wash everything down wash your hair you know use the body wash and don't leave on like the same makeup that you've had on because that'll sweat too. You know, just really try to take care of yourself. Wash your feet. You know, spray inside the shoes that you're wearing because us as girls, we have so many shoes for our costumes. If they smell, put like a little air freshener in them and then put them back on or, you know, and shave. Shaving would help. Yep. Yeah. That would definitely help. And oh, welcome, fun. You definitely made a good point, guys, gentlemen. Uh, for those who are wearing boxers or briefs, change them when needed. Don't expect the one it'll last all day. Sometimes you get a little sweaty, and it's and when you take a shower, don't put them back on. A new clean pair of boxers or briefs for you and socks included. And get the foot powder spray or something like that for your shoes, which can work for anyone. You know, I just want to interject, like, guys, come on, let's, you know, like, girls are doing this, step up your A-game and try to be clean, too. Yep. So, overall, I think, I think we definitely made some great points for people out there. We've definitely... Yeah, hopefully. Because, in a way, I can kind of see this being coming a bigger problem before it's actually, you know, people are actually going to start now, you know, people... It's going to hit to a certain point where people themselves are going to realize, okay, this this has to stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping it's going to reach that point soon. Because, like, they have this mentality because people used to talk about con funk back in the day. But when we talked about con funk back in the day, we were only talking about, like, one or two people. Yeah, they, they were it like... Was, it was a casual joke of, oh, look at the stereotypes. It was like a 
It was like a campfire thing, you know? Like, you talk. Yeah, it was like, do you remember this one person in this one time? It wasn't that. It was like it is now back then. It wasn't that yeah, bad. Now it's like I a. I walked down the hallway and breathed back then. Now, it's now like a, I have to hold my nose. Now it's like a fucking war story now. Like, it's like, shit. Like, come the frick on here, people. Terrible. You are not getting any brownie points for that. And also, I would also recommend, before I forget, air fresheners in the room, the cheap 99 cent ones. You get a couple of those in the room, it would help keep the room smelling nice and fresh. It has worked in the past for me. Hawaiian punch flavor, or something like that, actually works real good. Because I was working from Hawaii, so yeah, yeah. But, you know. Oh, and here's, here's an important one. I know Sunday is a very rough day and a very exhausting day, but please, please find a time to shower on Sunday because on Sunday, a lot of you are either going to be in a car with somebody for several hours where you're basically trapping them to be stuck with that smell for hours, <laughs> or you're getting on an airplane with normal people, and that's just rude. That's yeah. so rude to these other people that are going to have to deal with it. So even though Sunday, yes, you're exhausted, yes, you might have to leave the room by a certain time, but try to wake up early on Sunday and take care of it. Yes. Clean on Sunday, because that's when you're going back to, in quote, the real world, and the real world does not have as, as much tolerance for this. And, and you know, if you want to keep having rides from the same people, you probably don't want to turn their car into a gas chamber. <laughs> not a no. smart idea. No, not a... Not a, not not a smart idea. And also another good point is to this is definitely useful for the hotel. Change the sheets every single day. Get a maid in there. Change those bed sheets and the pillowcases. They will help out a lot. And make sure you tip them because, yeah, yeah. Some of us we might you know get it all in there. You know, well I don't want to be sleeping in somebody someone who had some fun times in there or. You know, if you know someone has some confunk, you know, it, it kind of like stains the thing. So have a maid go in, change those bed sheets, change the blankets, change everything every single day to keep on top of it. Because A, it's available when the maids do their thing. You know, they will do it. You know, they will come in and do it. And of course, please tip them. And besides, wouldn't you rather, you know, have a good feeling of when you're laying down in the bed after a long day at the convention, you just took a shower, and you're laying in clean bed sheets. Like, it's clean bed. That's yeah, a good thing. While we're on this, this is important. This is very important to any convention goer. And I've noticed that it's been forgotten in the later years. But on Sunday, clean the room. Oh, Please yeah. Clean the room. Because leaving in a mess is not only going to cause a problem for the hotel staff. It's not like, oh, well, they'll clean up our mess. But if it's a bad enough mess and overall it looks bad on the convention, it might cause problems with the convention staff and the hotel staff or the venue staff. The venue might not let them back. Yeah. You know, it reflects on the convention as a whole, not just you and your room. It will, it will affect the convention. You want the convention to come back to the same venue. Clean up. I recommend cleaning up every day. Just get rid of the garbage and all that stuff. Ask if you don't have trash bags, ask the maids. They will give them to you gladly. It just keep on top of that because if you clean up every day, the room will smell f the room will smell nice. You don't want pizza boxes in there for 3 2 to 3 days because they will definitely make a stench. And it will also make it easier to pack up on Sunday. All of that. You keep it clean each day. Yep. So overall, overall, guys and girls, we've we, we've given you we've given you the enemy. We've 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 told you what the enemy is, where it came from, and the scary part that it might still keep going on. But it's up to you. You all have the power to stop this dead in its tracks. To be like, no, I will do the responsible thing and help out my fellow congor to make sure they have an awesome time to do my part, take a shower, smell nice, smell clean, clean up the hotel, you know, do the little things, you know, tr you know, because, I, like I said, your convention experience is also based on the hotel, and if your hotel starts to stink, or all that shit, that ain't good. So, do your part. That's correct. So, overall, again, it's just, 
do your part. Like, walk if I choke a boat. Any last things you want to say before we go? Nope, I think we covered it. All right. Uh, for me... Finally said my name right. Ha! <laughs> Woo! It's at the end of the video, but... You get brownie points. <laughs> but, you know, again here, folks, I'm not trying to degrade you and saying, hi, your smell, hi, get out. No, I'm just saying, you know, please just be mindful of it. Just be mindful of your surroundings because I know it can be hard. I know it can be crazy. But if you just take the 10 to 20 minutes out of each day to do this, I, I would, t you know, you would totally see the differences in not only of how you feel because if you f if you don't take a shower, if you feel dirty and you smell, you, you know, you, you'll feel kind of shitty, you know. But just, just keep on doing this. Don't be part of the problem, you know, help combat it. So, again, I'd like to thank Walkified Chocobo for coming in today and uh, talking about this subject. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. And, you. yep, and do you have any websites you'd like the uh, you like the listeners out there to go check out? Um, not really. If I think of one, you could just put it in the comments. All right. Yes. All right, folks. If there's anything, it'll be in the description box here. Thank you, folks, for watching my video. Also, remember to, you know, if you have a con funk horror story, post it down here. Or you know, what do you think about this video? Post it in the comment box. Also, make sure you check out my other content, so, including remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. And above all else, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda blog. Sunny out. So remember, stay geeky, my friends.